Hi everyone and welcome back to Firefly! I hope you guys are doing well. Today is season 1 episode 11. If I, I Every time I say the episode name, I doubt myself. It is episode 11. We're so close to the end. You're actually seeing this on Christmas as a sort of surprise present for me. So, happy Christmas or uh, Hanukkah. Or if you don't celebrate Christmas, then you just get an extra episode randomly. Let's go. <laughs> um, sorry if I didn't. I didn't name any other holidays. That's the only ones I know that have, uh, like Christmas related stuff. Um, so sorry about that if I did. Um, I'm excited. I I'm, I'm. This last episode was intense. I just edited, started editing it. The torture. I kind of like made sure the audio was okay and then i just stopped like <laughs> listening to the audio because it was too much for my brain i was like no thanks i don't want to just seeing it again not fun uh not fun uh so yeah i'm i'm i hope it's gonna be great uh, it's always great uh but i hope it's gonna be greater um, it's been so fun to see the series again, again, <laughs> my brain is not here, it's been so fun see watching this series with you guys, and it's been so fun to, uh, you know, just talk about it, like I do, um, and I really enjoy the characters, I can't wait for the movie already, because I feel like it's gonna leave me on a cliffhanger, so I can't wait for the movie, and, uh, yeah, I have a new audio setup, so, my voice is a little bit muffled like I'm here, but I can still tell that I'm kind of speaking the same way. Um, but yeah, so hopefully with this, it will be less breaks in. Because <laughs> you don't really see it, but a lot of times when I would pause for too long, then the video would just be like, nah. So yeah. Okay, uh, well, let's get into it. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wait, what the f what? What? Why are you naked? Ooh, you have a tattoo? Yeah. Oops. That went well. <laughs> it I assume it did. Oh, I love those. They didn't tell me you were picking up this leg of the run. Yeah, well, work's been a little slow lately, so I thought I'd do some honest smuggling between jobs. Where's that sorry-ass ship of yours? Monty, two boats like ours, meeting on an empty rock like this? That screams contraband to the feds. Huh? Mm. Or have you forgotten the time you got pinched in Balix? Always thinking, ain't you? Smarts, that's what you got. <laughs> Smarts. No, okay, wait. Something's different. Something uh, is... Yep. Something is, uh... Hello, Stash. The beard! Oh, you shaved off your soup catcher! Yep. Now, I want you to meet my Bridget. <laughs> the comeback of the century! So, you guys have met. <laughs> oh, I love that. In the end, the universe is smaller than you thought. It's your wife, Monty. Huh? I married her, didn't I? You ain't the only one. Ow. Oh, Ow. <laughs> I forgot what her real name is. About half a year back at the Triumph Summit. Half a year? It's been three episodes or something. What the heck? Bridget, then. It was Saffron. Well, she hits me by surprise, got on my ship, and then tried to steal it out from under me. She is cold as ice and dead crazy on top of it. You're a liar, Malcolm Reynolds. And I ain't never got to telling you his name. Hell. Fine, be like that. Damn you, Bridget! Damn you to Hades! You broke my heart in a million pieces! You made me love you and then you... 
Why is he still here as well? You're gonna want to pull your claw out of that bag nice and slow. Relax, I'm not going for a gun or anything. Just freshening up. You and lipstick are a dangerous combination, if I recall. <laughs> Turn around. That's true, I forgot. Oh yeah, just like old times. We don't have any old times. Start walking. <laughs> walking, walking where? Pick a direction, just don't turn around. Come on, Mal. This is my scrap of nowhere. You go on, find your own. You can't just leave me here on this lifeless piece of crap moon. Okay. How are you not gonna oh, have any well, as clothing? Well, you might start getting busy on that, because all this chatter ain't doing me any kindness. Why don't you just go ahead and shoot me then? I don't know. Why didn't you shoot me? Back when I took my eyes off you for a split. Why? Woman, you were completely off your nut. I won't make trouble. You can stick me in one of those crates if you like. Just don't leave me here. all your fault you know i had the perfect crime lined up sure you're gonna steal a man's beard no you hooked it to pigu a million square job <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck so serena came back so how did you do the naked thing whoa cap tell me you got into a fight with monty oh really but i thought we loved monty we do love Monty, don't we? Sweetie, you had a tussle with that Sasquatch, we'd all be in the dirt right about now, scooping up the captain's teeth. Ain't that so, sir? You know what? I don't particularly want to talk about it. We Care to sit? She's never offered you to sit before. I was we could talk a little business. Would you like some tea? Okay. <clears throat> What's your game? I offered you tea. Mm hmm. After inviting me into your shuttle of your own free will, which makes two events without precedent, which makes me more than a little skittish. Honestly, Mal, if we can't be civilized, I'm talking. I'm plenty civilized. You're using wiles on me. I'm using what? Your feminine wiles. Your <laughs> companion training, or some might say. Nor anyone who has the slightest say on how I conduct my affairs. So? Well, uh, so? So let me conduct my affairs. Who's keeping you from conducting? I haven't had a client for three weeks. Backwater moons, slums, frontier planets without so much as a temple built. We go hmm. where the work is. There's all kinds of work, Mal. And ours is the kind that gets you shut down by the Alliance. I opt to stay off the radar. There are plenty of worlds where both of us could work. We used to visit them, remember? <laughs> Ichi is who she. Are you saying I'm doing this deliberate? Hygienic man. I'll tell Wash we can park there for a month. Not all of your work is illegal, Mal. And the best oh, You want to keep me off the job now? Best job you ever pulled was on a central planet. How about I stay out of your whoring? <laughs> well, that didn't take you long. You keep out of my thieving. I know my job very well, thank you very much. Right, you're a criminal mastermind. What was the last cargo we snuck past the Alliance to transport? That was what was the cargo? <laughs> they were dolls. They were little geisha dolls with big heads that wobbled. Hey, people <laughs> love them. And what exactly was the net profit on the famous wobbly-headed doll caper? Swashi. Don't know what that means. Chinese for petty. <laughs> no, that's a narrow... There are nuances of meaning that... Maybe you should have stuck with your wiles. Don't put all of this on me, Mal. You know you haven't been after serious work. You know serious work? You want to know if I... What? Nothing. All right. Tell me more about this job of yours. Ah. Uh, so, did he willingly give put her in the thing did she sneak in there and, and they, but he knew because he's badass was artifacts in the verse guys got warehouses full of stuff but his prize piece is sitting in his parlor an antiquity of unspeakable value the lassiter the, the what? original handheld laser pistol one of only two known to still exist the forerunner of all modern laser technology Huh. Hammer got lucky, picked it up during the war for nothing. But it wasn't just luck. 
Job. Hammer's Alliance. Bioweapons expert during the war. He'd target neighborhoods with valuables, wipe out every living soul without ever damaging the goods. Damn. Win, take. I'm confused. Yeah. You're asking yourself, if I've got the security codes, why don't I go in, grab it for myself? No, actually. <laughs> I was wondering. Why you're here. What's she doing on the ship? <laughs> Did she try to kill us? Please. Nobody died last time. We're in space. How did she get here? She hit. I don't recall uh, pulling over. Point is, this ain't no wobbly headed doll caper. This here's history. Let's, why don't she just walk in and grab That's herself? what she said it. Good point. <laughs> the door and putting our hands on the Lassiter, it's easy. Getting out with it, that's the tricky part. It's tagged and coded. Second it passes through the door, alarms, security, feds. This isn't a one woman operation. To do this right, I'm gonna need idiots. Them. Partners. Dupes. That's what you'll all be if you trust her. And I love that he, in any other scenario, would have said no. But just because he got in a fight with Inara, he, to prove a point, he's saying yes. Like. <laughs> oh, la la. It's the layout. Full blueprints of the entire grounds. Why is it on small ass cards? You dig into that little kid. Is it like a USB card version? Mm -hmm. Zoe? You ain't said a word. Time to weigh in. Take sounds ripe enough. Assuming we can fence it. I know a guy in Persephone. Already has half dozen buyers on the bid. But Anara ain't wrong. She yeah. can't be trusted. Uh, I ain't asking you to trust her. I'll be with her on the inside the whole time. See there? Yeah. All you gotta do to be a rich woman, hon, is get over it. Hmm. Shut up. Okay. Deserved. I'm in. <laughs> Captain says you're to stay put. Doesn't want you to run afoul of his blushing, psychotic bride. If she figures out who you are, she'll turn you in for you. can say, don't turn me in. <laughs> that was... <laughs> she ain't a girl. <laughs> on that girl's name thing I show her good and all I got man parts I'm trying to think of a way for you to be cruder I just it's not coming yeah agreed I was gonna leave you a deck of cards <laughs> great another exciting adventure in sitting of who? you? since Ariel Afraid we'll know. Hmm. Yeah, she knows. He doesn't. We should be on Bellerophon by 06. I figure the job should take. Please, I really don't want to know. At least it's your kind of world. Got appointments made? The minute we hit Atmo, I'm gone. I've booked a few choice clients. Should help me get my mind off of Mal's descent into lunacy. Zoe, don't let Mal trust her. Everything's Saffron. Bellerophon. Well, she's going to betray them in some way. How? And paranoid. Nature. Gracious living, ocean views, and state-of-the-art security, <laughs> including local patrol. I feel like the security is ruined. I feel like the view is ruined by the security. She'll and say. the code keys needed at all entrances and exits. Which we have. Right. You and Mal will split off in shuttle two as we make our approach. There's a landing port just south of the main house. It shouldn't be a problem unless someone has been less than truthful. Uh, the you should parlor with the last the is on the ninth floor. You'll have to disable the display, it won't be any trouble. Of course, once you get the goods in your hands, you can't take it out the front door, nor the back door, nor any door. Every piece of pretty is tagged for the scanners. Mm. So, what do we do? You want to tell them? It was your genius idea. You chuck it in the garbage. Oh, that's why the episode is named Trash. All the estates on Bellerophon use the she, That was sarcastic. Except it's idiotic. The drones take the disposal bin straight to reclamation. 30 seconds after we hit the button, the booty will be incinerated. Not if we reprogram the bin. Give it new coordinates. Once I override the standard guidance protocol, I can tell that disposal bin to go wherever we want. And where would that be? 
the loneliest piece of desert we can find here, Isis Canyon. That's why he's gonna go there. May why? Probably because she's gonna betray him that he's gonna be stuck there. Why he would not have his clove, I don't know. We're about to find out, I guess. It's his same outfit from the train ah. job. What? It is Kaylee. Yeah. Uh oh. Why is there a warning? Sorry, I don't know why that slipped. Wait, I just realized where's the shepherd? <laughs> like, he was not there. He was in their last episode as well, so. Where is he? This should be it. Yeah. That kind of looks like a Nerf gun. A little bit. So what are you gonna do? Why didn't you do this earlier? Oh no, oh, cause she took it and changed it on the- Sorry. Ooh. Wow, that's so cool. Trash it. We passed in the vestibule. Yay. Someone's coming. Uh-oh. You! You found her. What? Oh, she's playing another guy. Oh, my dear. <laughs> my own sweet Yolanda. Oh, oh, this boy weighs a solid time. Oh, he's here. Never mind. Doctor? You yourself a patient to see to. Yes. I'll take care of it. Why do you sound so subdued? So ah, never mind. I'd never see you again. <laughs> uh, trip weren't even out of our way. I promised him 800 squared. No, but we never agreed. And... Please, I'd be embarrassed not to make some recompense. In, in my study, I... Are you hungry? You both look so tired. There's food or... Yolanda, I'm babbling like a moon brain. <laughs> we'll both have plenty to say by nightfall. Six years. Is that all? From the day they found your shuttle. They said on me at Parth. These awful men. You, you wouldn't. That's the thought that kept me alive. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is so sad. Because, what a bitch. Like, he really is in love with her. Oh. Have so much time to make up. Well, that's my cue to skedaddle. Uh, let me get your money. You won't disappear again. <laughs> she will. Never. What's the math on that? The math on that is you not adding up the Durin Haber would as soon cut your throat as he would. You would? If possible. Nope. Yeah, I that is true. All. If she conned him so long ago. Why did she need... I, I guess she snuck in just because she didn't want to have to deal with that again. Because <laughs> she pretended to die, basically. Mm. I get why he's mad, though. Case. Uh, I've actually met your real husband. Congratulations. Anything else you want on your tombstone, you piece of crap? Now I'm intruding. Duran, this isn't what it looks like. Unless it looks like we're stealing your priceless Lassiter, because 
That's what we're doing. Don't ask me about the gun, no, because that's new. <laughs> well, I appreciate your honesty. Not, you know, a lot, but... <laughs> Nobody's forced me to. Stop. I mean, you conned him. I guess she just fell in love at the same time. That's a pickup call. How we doing? I can't reach it. Ah, tada! Working on it, dear. Uh oh. Uh oh. Haley. Haley. Oh, we almost died. Did you think I was a princess? That I would stay locked up here in the tower? With you? I hoped. You're a running fool. What happened? Go! Go! Copy that. Saffron, you want to finish the damn job here? Because we're short on minutes. I'm sorry, mister. How long have you been with him? Oh, we are not together. He's my husband. I'll tell well, you. who in the damn galaxy ain't? But you actually came here for me. Well, at least he's not an idiot. That would be them now. Men. Don't blame this on... Shut your face. That was all you. Peaches. Just call them off. Why do you try to do that? I feel maybe because it's worked before, but I. F when will would that work? Why he saved her? I don't know. Request entry all points. <laughs> they didn't even have time to think. Oh. Why did you not keep nope. the gun? Let's go. <laughs> I mean, to not let her have it is fair though. You're still not naked though. And that sounds very bizarre in any other context. That'd be tough. And the one line you hadn't crossed. My name's not Yolanda. Yeah, no shit. Never entered my mind it was. I tried. I actually it. tried. I thought this is a decent man. The genuine article. A working man. Struggling to get by with the barest necessities on a <laughs> private floating island. Yeah, he had money. I thought it would help. I thought if I had it, I should have killed Turin. Right. The one guy who don't have it coming. The man who knows you, still loves you, treachery and all. I can't have him walking about. <laughs> Denial. You must be loving this. <laughs> I am. A little bit. Yeah, same. Not like. <gasps> yes, you but. Your clothes on. What is that? A con. A Ooh. brilliant, beautiful, evil, double-crossing snake. Cheer up, weepy. You made yourself a boatload of hard cash today. You can question the meaning of life on a floaty island of your own for a while. You won't tell anyone about me breaking down. I won't. Just may be the most gullible fool I ever marked. And that makes you special. Well, you can riddle me with holes, Yolanda. But that won't make what I just saw anything but truth. I played you from minute one. Oh, you got me a barrel's end. Who am I to argue? What's your move? We'll be setting down the desert. Leave you to set a spell. 
Oh, and speaking of naked. No, no, <laughs> that's just low. Kind of evens things out, though, don't you think? <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. I'm sorry. What? Can't turn. Not getting any tug from the aft alternator. That don't make no sense. Unless the bitch. So you do you to feel see the mother filament on the grab dampener strip. Now who could have possibly done that? I can fix it, but she must have put a timer on the motivator and wet wire the damn. What does it mean, Kaylee? I mean yeah, I'm so sorry, but what did you expect when you took the job? Run! God. Oh where is it? Looking for this? I wonder if it works. <gasps> Badass, girly. Oh well. Here. And she looks oh, beautiful. Just my part of the job. What part of the job? You know. I put on the big act, storm away in a huff, then I fly off, wait for you to double cross Mal, beat you to the rendezvous spot, and grab the loot before you can get to it. What? You didn't see it coming? <laughs> uh uh. You know, I'm a little disappointed. Some of the crew's performances weren't quite as nuanced as they could have been. I thought they might have tipped the fact that we were playing you from the second mile took you out of that crate. Oh well, guess not. The authorities will be here in a few hours to dig you out. I have a condition! Shut your fucking face! What's going on? You got knocked out. Do we get a payoff? Did we get the money? Can you move your arms and legs? Huh? How much did they offer you to sell out me and River on Ariel? Fuck. That's crazy talk. Then let's talk crazy. How much? Anybody there? <laughs> Just a person. The other person you want to see. Else? You're <laughs> in a dangerous line of work, Jerry. Clearly. That's badass. You know do or say or plot. No matter how you come down on us, I will never ever harm you. You're on this table. You're safe. So I'm your medic. And however little we may like or trust each other, we're on the same crew. Got the same troubles, same enemies, and more than enough of both. I thought he would threaten him on the table like, I can't do anything to you. He did, but he said it was okay. Also, I can kill you with my brain. <laughs> Just the widening of his eyes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was badass. Well, at least your plan sort of worked. If the crew can get to the yes, then but... I call it a win. What's the problem? You're Should naked. I start with the part where you're stranded in the middle of nowhere, or the part where you have no clothes. All according to plan. Really? I thought the plan was for me to act as a failsafe in case everything else went wrong. Like, for <laughs> instance, if Saffron disabled Serenity and left you for dead. Nonsense. You had a key role to play in this. Uh huh. How would you have been if you hadn't gotten to play? Heartbroken. See? All according to plan. Wash, take us out of the world. Zoe, contact Brennert and Ellison. See if they'd be interested in venturing a priceless art. How are you so confident walking around naked? What the heck? For us. What? I didn't. Okay. You're still naked, bro. Good work, Captain. Thank you, Kaylee. <laughs> His little pleased smile. Still naked. Good day. <laughs> sure. <laughs>
Ah, this was a fun episode. This was really cool. It was just fun. Um, I was... It is kind of funny that... Because he, he accepted only out of pride. Ow. Really, I feel like. Um, but then he... Came back, sort of. Um... But he, he, he still didn't trust her, which is great. I was, like, wondering why he thought he wouldn't double-cross her, him. Why she wouldn't double-cross him. Like, she was like, oh yeah, just a spell safe in case she does it. And, like, there's no way she ain't not doing it. It was fun to see her just, like, come back. And for once, they, they were, like, they had the upper hand. It was just, and the way... <laughs> the way he was like so surprised when the guy came in like you came my wife came back for me and everything was really funny um i'm glad that simon find out with about jane um <clears throat> i'm glad he found out because he kind of needed to but it still fits with his personality for him to just be like i won't harm you i could but I won't, because I don't want us to be, like, enemies. But, of course, I think they're not going to be as carefree with each other anymore. Um, I don't know if Riverwood just went, like, I can kill you with my brain. <laughs> um, we haven't seen much of, like, Kaylee being wary of River this time, because that's what kind of happened last time. Um, so, maybe next episode we're going to see a little bit of that, or maybe it was just... Like, one-time thing, and then they're okay. I don't know. Um, but yeah, no, it was great. I It was just kind of... I think they knew what they did last time, so they are just, let's throw this kind of comedic episode. That was, it was just nice. That was just nice. So thank you for doing that, writers. Little Joss Whedon. You're great. You're always great. Um, so yeah. There's not much I have to say, because... Plot-wise, not much happened. Like, uh, I'm Inara was fucking beautiful with that veil. God, it was so pretty. Um, and also the way she was just like <laughs> talking with Mal, and she still got to get a job because well, I'm not sure if she did go to a client and then became a failsafe or she was just a failsafe the entire time um so yeah i don't know um but it was fun and i love that he did this to prove something to her i thought that was really funny and i can't i can't wait to see if they finally kiss i really want them to kiss oh god i wanted to kiss i don't know if they will know but i would love for them to kiss so yeah at least a movie or something. I don't know. I'm, it's probably going to be a slow burn, so it won't. It would have been a slow burn, so it's not. They're not going to kiss, but I would have loved for them to. So, yeah. Okay, let's... Because I don't really have anything else to say. There's not... I just loved the episode. I thought it was just fun to watch. It was just like, yeah, it was really fun. And, like, plot-wise, or wondering about... Like... I guess we can talk about Saffron or whatever her name is. I think she genuinely started to like the guy, but she it's kind of like that song in um The Greatest Showman when it's like never enough, never like <clears throat> the the girl is like the woman is like a singer, world renowned, she's rich as fuck, but she like came from a poor background. It's like her song is like it's never enough, like whatever I do. There's always a part of me that's like, I still need more. And I think that's kind of what happened with S Saffron. Um, or some, well, whatever her name is. And she just like, she's like, I can't, like, I, I have, which kind of sucks. Like, you have to con people to be satisfied. Um, but <laughs> we don't really know her backstory that well. I think it would be nice to see her backstory, though. It would be funny. So, yeah. I like her character. Well, 
like her character is a strong word in the way that I dislike her because she's, you know, <clears throat> kind of con artist and, you know, try to as sexually assault mild. She succeeded. Um, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look at the extras. Once again, provided by my wonderful mod. So thank you so much for all of this. Trash. And her taking away for you to be cruder. It's just, it's not coming. I love his sarcasm. Fifth episode, right? I, yeah, I agree with that. Oh. Oh, that's cool. Wait. Oh. Um, I might keep download that because sometimes I'm like, ah, oh, core planets, blah blah blah, and Ariel is a core planet, so uh, not a core planet, but it's... where's Ariel? Ariel, see core planet. I don't remember where they were. Okay, core worlds are purple, border worlds are white, and red worlds, are... red or red world. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's really cool. I might download that because I'm like, I don't know what is happening, but that's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you so much. Damn, that's so cool. Nice stupid inbred stack of meat. That was all your fault. You know, I had a perfect crime lined up. <laughs> you monkey's butt. Let's take a deep breath. Oh, yeah, she just reset pity. Idiots, all of you. A remorseless Harridan. Harridan. A strict, bossy, or belligerent billi old woman. Oh. Um. Holy death. <laughs> oh my, okay. Horrors of sons of... Oh wow, she just really said everything. She's the mother of all the whores in hell. Oh, that's when she finds... Oh, okay. Yeah, I can see why. She'll say that. After the fight in the beginning with Saffron, it is her name, yeah. Rain Reynolds knows but disappears and reappears between shots. The port side shuttles is sh shuttle is visible in Serenity's port, docking bay when both shuttles have left the ship. So, when Mal and Saffron are running from the authorities, they leave the Bellerophron estates through a door which uses a crash bar to exit. How however, when the guards arrive through that door, it has changed color, and the door hardware is now a lever. So <laughs> just like. Oh, one second, let's just change the door. When Simon gives Jane a shot, you can see the fake needle retract into the syringe. I, I didn't look, so I, I didn't get I didn't see it. David Celine wrote a picture of director Josh Whedon over his private history. Some of the nude scenes. <laughs> no! For other takes, he wore a sack of displaying a figure reminiscent of Wilson from the film Castaway. Oh my god. The tattoo visible in Miles' hip is an Egyptian glyph meaning peace. He, Nathan Fillion got it at the age of 19 and reportedly regrets it. Oh, wow. It looked like a cool tattoo. It was just kind of... I didn't really get to see it up close. While Mal, Saffron, and Jiren are having their confrontation in the artifacts room, Mal, Mal sarcastically calls her Yo Saf Bridge. This is a contraction of all the allies he had her use during their acquaintance, Villana, Saffron, and Bridget. Oh. Interestingly, the English language... DVD subtitle for the word made up name Yo Savage misidentified it as a Chinese word. When Mal and Saffron land on the island, you can see a ship flying in, in by in the background that is shaped like this SR-71 Blackbird skyplane. Huh. It's one of three episodes that have been completed but never aired during their initial runs. So people didn't get to see this episode, but it was so fun. That sucks. Fox really sucks. <laughs> for treating its shows really sucks. Oh my god, this was great. Uh, I loved, I really loved it. I think it was just like a fun episode. We got to like be with the character and just see where they are. Um, and, and it's been six months since they've seen each other. To me, it's been like, it was like, but like what, one, two months max? But it's been six. Holy shit. Um, so yeah, it was a really fun episode. I loved to, to see uh, just, I love heists. I mean, it's always heists in this, but it's always cool to see. So yeah, I hope you like it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment with that below, subscribe to see more, and you can check out my, my Patreon if you want to see the full and a reaction. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao.